what is up youtube this is toxic taco and today i'm bringing you another video this video will be about infinite warfare's beta now as um much as i have uh, really just pushed the en envelope that i dislike the whole trailer as a whole i disliked just the concept of the game because it's not what i would want as an OG Call of Duty fan versus someone who's just like, you know, with an open mind or maybe someone who's um, a little bit more into this newer style of COD, which I wouldn't call COD at this point anymore. Um, Infinite Warfare is beta. Let's just get into it right now. Really, the, the beta itself, it had quite a bit of technical issues because of the servers. I believe it was they gave more keys than they had for their servers to handle so pretty much people getting on in the beginning was pretty much rough um i do, i remember playing black ops 3's beta but um i don't think it was as bad as what people were describing i granted i didn't play the infinite warfare beta i did not want to uh try for a key i just looked at it because i want to see it let me see if maybe it's not as bad looking as i thought or maybe it could have surprised me but Turns out no, it um, it was just not what uh, it was pretty much what I thought it would have been. A little bit of a, I won't say that it's a com, that it's um, looking like the, the worst COD, but it's most definitely up there. It's it's just um, even um, with people who have open minds about it, who are maybe older school Call of Duty fans, this is just kind of a little bit of a letdown for how much they took in order to make it. And uh, from what I could tell and gather, um, this is what pretty much the final game will be like. And the game comes out in about two weeks or so, well, maybe a week and a half. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, the game comes out and um, it's just not looking what it, was built up to be and for three years of development I mean you kind of would have expected a little bit more out of it especially um, since it's not really looking like I'll just take it here it looks like someone took Ghost Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 and mixed it all together and tried to see if they could make something better but it turned out to just be very much still garbage and I'll say this, Black Ops 3, I enjoyed playing it a lot more than uh, I've ever tried just test running Ghost and Advanced Warfare. Like, that game was honestly better than those, but uh, this this was just no, this was just, just from the looks of it itself. Just from looking at people play it, I was just disappointed in it. I was expecting that maybe it would have showed me a little bit more, like, hey, you know, it's probably not going to be too bad, but... The trailer honestly looked a lot better than what um, the gameplay looked like. Then, uh, the fact that it's only two weeks doesn't say that it's going to change much because uh, Black Ops 3, when their beta came out, it came out way before. Um, I think it came out probably in like, uh, I like to say, roughly around September, maybe August, somewhere around there. It's when that beta came out, and it wasn't, wasn't you know, bad. But it was surely better. It was better than this. I could say that. And um, it just kind of lived up to the expectations that I had for it. That it wasn't going to be a great COD. And that now, the way that I see it, I think Modern, Modern Warfare Remastered is what's going to be played the most. So, kind of shows like why they kind of had to attach a game to it now. Or else it wouldn't have been selling out on the shelves because, let's face it, the anchor for all this, the saving grace, is Modern Warfare Remastered. It's just going to be a game that probably is going to short-live. And Modern Warfare Remastered will probably be something that will <laughs> exceedingly ex just go past what the game was expected to be so modern warfare remastered is what's actually being purchased 
for those of you who are trying with an open mind or maybe actually do enjoy this well that's good for you but uh i just don't see it actually doing well and this has been kind of the idea of what i thought infinite warfare would have been and i'm just glad i'm not buying it i'm glad i didn't pre-order it even though it does have modern warfare remastered i can wait a bit i don't care that i have to wait it will be if i were to actually purchase the game it would have just taken up storage space on my console and that's a waste of my storage space so might as well just wait for modern warfare remastered to come out to something that i actually will use that storage space for and they won't be just wasted there or or the ca case itself like um infinite warfare i mean i have to use this if i had purchased it to get the modern warfare remastered um digital copy but then um, pretty much it's not going to be used for the purpose of infinite warfare it's just going to be used for modern warfare pretty much i just want modern Warfare. a lot of people could agree modern warfare is the main thing that people want especially if they're old school call of duty individuals that's the main thing that they want because let's face it it has supply drops which people already hate we hated it it's just annoying variants and games uh, let's just it's just something that no one wants and i hate those little um um what is it uh they're basically the equivalent of black ops 3 when you could just get a special kind of ability um in order to rack up kills if you were maybe dying it's basically to help you just even it out but i just don't like it it seems like it takes out the fun trying to be a little bit more competitive instead of actually you know going full on trying to improve yourself instead of uh just waiting for it so you can get some easy kills so that's why i just think this is just maybe like an advanced black ops 3 2.0 but kind of actually downgraded um in my opinion um that's just it for me just from the looks of the game i don't want to play it i just want modern warfare and it's just my thoughts just on the looks of gameplay but hey if any of you enjoyed it well that's good for you um and for the most part for people who saw it, they weren't really too impressed i know a lot of people weren't really impressed by the game and just on the release date itself and how it happened it didn't show off a good first impression and it's just showing me that infinite warfare is not what's really the main priority for um cod fans right now so that's been it for the video guys just want to give you my take on that pretty much infinite warfare not where i want to purchase or waste my time on so wait for that call of duty 4 remastered version on a on its own separate disc later on in the year if, if it hits all the way till next year well i'll be getting next year but that's been it for the video guys peace